What's up guys? We're here for the Shape You training videos. We're gonna do some chest and shoulders today. I got Sergi Constance over here. Yeah, let's get the pump. Let's get the pump, let's get warm up and kill it. chest and shoulders Inside your shoulder, you know your shoulder has four muscles connecting to, it, to the shoulder blade. Two main exercises for this. Make sure you keep your elbow pretty close to the body. And then push outside. Turn over. And then pull. shoulders you can you know do that exercise and you're gonna relieve the pain and gonna make you feel better you don't need to use a lot of weight when doing this exercise because as mentioned it's not a mass builder it's more to train the deep tissue muscle to prevent injury 
and to help your shoulder have more stability. Let's do some crossovers at the top. You're gonna train more your upper chest and your front shoulder from the bottom. You're gonna move the weight from your upper chest and shoulder to your bottom chest. now butterfly reverse it's always good to train the rear shoulder because there's not many exercises and also you can't really feel usually you can't really feel the rear shoulder as good as you feel the front and the middle one so you gotta give it more focus and really isolate it you know to bring the shoulders back and get a better position yeah guys don't forget to train your rear delt because it's so important for get a balanced shoulder. So it's one of the most important parts of the shoulder. Work out your rear delts, don't forget, and be focused in each rep, rep squeeze, uh, in each exercise, in each rep for the rear delt. It's so important, don't forget it. Let's do it. Let's do it. 
I personally like to doing one arm at a time, which helps me to focus even more on the rear delt and isolate it better. It's the most important to forget this shoulder boulder, this big shoulder. So a lot of people ask me, what about the shoulders? How you do for this big shoulder? So for that you must to get a balanced shoulder. And the rear delt is, is one of the, the parts most important for work. So remember, no, don't forget to work, to work out your rear delt. And let's do one more. Increase the weight a little bit. Important to squeeze at the end, really feel it, your shoulder blade coming together and give it a good contraction and squeeze at the end, then back again. chest, really kill it at the machine, isolate it, you know, when you're doing machines, you can concentrate more on the muscle itself you're targeting, isolating it, but I do recommend you use mostly free weights, because the muscles that stabilize, like the triceps, the shoulders, are going to work as well, and you're just going to have a better stimulation, so that's why I always recommend free weights, complex exercises, and then machines where you need it to, you know, target the muscle you want to work out and finish at the end. Right, we're going to do some pyramid sets, or as they call them, drop sets. I really like it, especially at the end of the workout. You can like squeeze it all out, make the muscle burn. Some, you know, 
you know, simple guidelines to follow. But at the end of the day, you're gonna stimulate the muscle, you're gonna work, and you're gonna force him to grow. Simple as that. The body is gonna respond, you're gonna react to your training. Alright guys, we're gonna do some more real delts now. As mentioned, it's very important, you know, to not forget about your rear delts. And I got a very special exercise to show you guys. I kinda, you know, made it up myself, or even invented it myself. I'm sure other people are doing it as well, but I just tried it. And the other day, I had such a sore muscle at, the, at my rear delts, and so, it's just an indication that it's really effective, but it doesn't, it doesn't indicate muscle growth because getting sore does not mean your muscle is going to grow, but it just indicates the target area is working. So let's do it. All right, guys, so what you want to do is grab a small bar. This is a bigger one. We don't need the handles, but we're going to use it because we don't have a small bar here, but it's going to have the same effect. So you want to put the cable machine at the bottom position don't use too much weight. Stand straight and then push to the back. Squeeze the rear shoulders. I feel the traps in the rear shoulders working very good. One more. Ah, big guy. I think you're gonna like this exercise. It's really cool. Keep your elbows straight, lock them out. Yeah. Bam. That's right. You can clearly see the rear shoulder and the, and the traps working here. As the muscle flexing, you gotta contract at the top. Hold it for half of a second, contract, squeeze, and release. Drop sets are really good. It increases the time under tension, which means we will have a better stimulation. Burns, huh? Yeah. yeah, it burns, man, I tell yeah, you. You guys make sure you try it back at home because, oh yeah, it does burn and it does like really isolate your rear shoulder and your traps. That's why I really like that exercise because you don't have many exercises for the real shoulders and your traps and this is just a very good and easy one to do and it helps me feel it already also. If I do, if I do a butterfly reverse with dumbbells on a bench, it's also a good exercise, but it's hard to feel, and you kind of use your forearms, your biceps, and all that. And here you can really target it. One more set, guys. One more.
right, guys, we're going to do some military press now. This is a complex exercise. Gonna work out your shoulder really well. guys <laughs> was a good workout yeah uh, good pump uh, for chest and shoulders we did some exercise it's a good work workout that you can try uh, different kind of exercise different kind of number of sets but it's a good training it's a good training always good to change to switch things around I don't like to train with the same principles and same numbers every time I train I always switch it around I go crazy I do some freestyle, but as I said earlier, you gotta keep some basic guidelines, follow it, just increase the weight. Your goal is to get stronger in the gym and you know, get your diet in place. And this is gonna give you the best results, guys. Yeah, always remember to train safe, squeeze in each rep, in each exercise. It's the most important, feel the muscle, feel the contraction, be focused in your training. And yeah, like Alon say, uh, you, the most important is the diet. And Train hard, uh, work hard in the gym, and keep the diet clean, eat healthy, so the, res the results come comes very soon. Sleep so good, get some good rest, you know, and just repeat. Okay, guys, uh, we hope you liked the video, and, you know, make sure to subscribe and stuff. We're going to work out arms tomorrow. I hope you feel like working out so arms tomorrow, man. Yeah. You pumped? I will rest. Yeah, I'm ready for food now, but tomorrow... De definitely gonna make uh, another workout for you guys so stay tuned see yeah. you guys soon <laughs>